It's a mural. This is your first mural you guys have ever painted. You've done a lot of painting, but this is your first mural. And so professionally, I work in live entertainment. I've done a lot of shows. I've painted scenery and built scenery and designed scenery for the last 25 years. And you guys have been coming with me to work since you were born, each of you. Um, you've been very popular with coworkers. <laughs> uh, and I've been fortunate that I've been able to take you with me to basically every one of my jobs, um, which is awesome. But these days with the pandemic, live entertainment isn't really a thing. So it's terrifying, but it's also nice because it affords us the opportunity to do projects together. With So I was so impressed with you guys. You guys really knocked it out of the park. Okay, so we're using um, sponges and we're using the big uh, styrofoam brushes, they're called handy painters. I'll show them a close up later in the video, but um, the handy painters are handy because you can use them to blend and then the sponges are good to lay out a lot of texture really fast. This is when I decided that we had painted it way too high and that was me putting in shadows. Um, you use the same big foam brush, the handy painter. You can put one, just the dark color of paint, the shadow color, which was black and blue for this one, on one side and just kind of spray it with a little bit of water from a spray bottle. And you can do really nice blends for shadows and stuff. This is gonna be a lot of layers for the coral down here. You guys did such a good job. Sam painting the little pink coral and Ty painting all of the seaweed. Now we're doing highlights. I think my little coral looks like mommy painted it. Yeah, both of you guys. You can't tell the difference at the end who did what, because you did such a good job. I think it all looks like mommy did it. Yep. Yeah. So I did the layout for the mural in Photoshop, took a generic picture of, the, of a coral reef and then put in a bunch of fish um, so that we had a general idea of what we were going to do. And I'm using sidewalk chalk because it's softer than like regular chalkboard chalk and um, chunkier. So it doesn't break and it's easier to wash off. Um, so after you paint, you can just take a sponge once the paint is dry and wash it off. This is all acrylic um, paint. So it's nice because you can layer it up and um, like when we, we had the coral too high, we could just paint over it when it was dry because it's, it's acrylics and it won't reactivate like watercolor does. Yeah. So Ty's mixing some paint and Sam's going to paint the clownfish and I'm basing the fish at the top. I, I was painting a crab and I was trying to make orange, but then I realized that we already had like the orange paint in a tube. Yeah, yeah, we had the little craft paints out. So for little amounts, the little craft paints are okay. For the big amounts, we've got um, house paint, basically like Home Depot gallon size paint buckets that I had left over from other projects. Um, and we poured them into the deli containers, you can see on the right there. And then we had nice compact bits that we could use to carry around and dip the brush into. What do you want to say? The, the bottom's so realistic. It is so realistic. And mommy changed some of the colors. Did I? Yeah. Yeah? The fishies look so good. Yep, they're getting there. It's a lot of work to do, cover that amount of space. It's a seven foot by seven foot wall. Sam likes to paint her hand. When she's not painting other things, she always paints her hand. And here's some sweet, satisfying paintbrush action. Good job, Miss Tyler. <laughs> You've got uh, some very, very good brush skills. So now we're putting in more details. I start doing um, some shading in just a sec here, I think. I think. My, my, my fishies look the most derpy. 
the most derpy. I this love your my, little clown fish. They're so dirt. cute. And I even did Cousin Derp. You did Cousin Derp? Carrot and Cousin Derp. Carrot and Cousin Derp? Yeah. Carrot because they're orange? Yeah. Yeah, and Cousin Derp because of Mariah? Yeah. It's the finished realistic mural right here. So we've got oh, our little fishies so nice. and our coral and Tyler's hermit crab. So adorable. Nice shading. And more little fishies. The little orange guys. Um, they all look so that. serious. Yes, they do. <laughs> There's your little clownfish, Sam. I think they're adorable. Cousin Dip. Yep. Yeah, so cute. And cute. There it is. It's so big. But wait, there's more. So now we're going to go in. And, and we're gonna, cartoon it. We're going to make it cartoony. So Sam and is making the eyeballs big and bulgy. And Ty is outlining everybody. And I'm putting in Terry the tortoise up at the top. So this is Terry the tortoise. He's a tortoise, not a turtle. He's a land animal, so he's got to have his gear on. So he's getting a scuba tank. And I'm a land animal. You're a land animal too, huh? You'd need a scuba tank too to swim down there. Oh, Sam's painting her hand again. So now begins the process of outlining the tortoise. Takes some time on that, I'm something that big. My hand colorful. Yeah, I think in a little bit here you're gonna start painting your foot because this was right before dinner. You start painting your foot. Ty's still outlining all the little fishies. Beautiful. When you're outlining, if you're doing anything like this, the um, cleaner and longer the strokes, the cleaner yeah, and better your lines will be. If you do dab, 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 then your lines will be all dab, dab, dabby. And you have to mix your paint so that it is thick enough to not drip, but thin enough to flow nicely for you so that you can get nice lines. And it's tricky to figure out, but it, um, once, you got, once you've got a system down, it makes a difference. And when, as you're painting, the water will evaporate. So if you're painting for a long time, and then your paint will get thicker and thicker and thicker, and you'll have to add more water to make it flow again. Mm. So we're getting pretty cartoony here now. Love it. And now the tortoise is probably dry. Yeah. So now I can put in the shadows. It's amazing what a difference shadows and highlights make. Shadows and highlights are the most important thing. Get a little bit of nice blending and colors in there and some shadows and highlights and boom. And there it is. Look at that. Cartoon so hermit crab, cartoon happy fish. So they basically have bigger eyes, outlines, and happier smiles. That's the big difference. Otherwise, we didn't have to do much. They all look so cute. Little cartoon fishies. Little coral and seaweed. And there it is. The finished piece. Okay, so now we're gonna do tools and supplies. We talked about it a little bit, but oh there's the janky setup for our no super super fancy setup for our 10-year-old GoPro. There's there's the ice cream maker. <laughs> ice cream maker right here. That bucket. So that's the paint. I've got some leftover Roscoe paint um, bare. You can see it's like 10,000 different brands. Um, the Sherwin-Williams stuff is really good. These days, most paint is pretty good. These are the deli containers. Um, and they're nice because you can have small containers that um, you can carry around, but the, the big brushes, the big foam brushes fit in them really nicely. Um, and they have lids. And get lids for them so you can keep them. There's the handy painter, Sherline handy painter. 
There are different manufacturers. These are the best, but they're a little hard to find these days, which is makes me sad because I can't paint without them. But you can put one color on one side, one color on the other side and spray a little water on it and blend in between. They're super handy. This is what I was using for my paint palette. They are cheese and cracker containers from our snacks. Snacky, snacky. <laughs> yeah, these are handy because they'll slide into each other in those compartments. And I was using that center part on each one to mix um, paint and blend as I was going. So that's handy. And those are some takeout containers that we were using to mix colors in and to um, have like a wide space for the sponges. There's Ty in front of our old shop at our old house. Um, just went by because the doors from our old shop are for our old CNC in our old garage. Um, those doors are what we used to build this paint frame. So we have the old, old frame. You can tell they've been outside since we moved, um, just waiting for their purpose. And now they have a purpose. So we stuck some leftover foam core on top of them and this is the floor. I use rolls of um, cut off linoleum you can get for pretty cheap instead of drop cloths because it works really well. There's two different versions. Yep, the realistic one and the cartoon one. Which one do you like best? The cartoon. Yeah, how about you? Which one do you I like best? I like the cartoon. Too. Do you like the cartoon? What do you like the best about the cartoon? One. Is it the tortoise? <laughs> I like the tortoise and the of fishy details. The happy fishies? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So, good job, everybody. Yay. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to join the guild, check out our Patreon for more fun stuff. It's a fun